What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. All right, look. Today I'm gonna do a reaction. It's gonna be a little bit different today. I'm switching it up. Um, I wanted to bring y'all some more travel stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a travel kind of sore. I love to travel, but unfortunately, right now it's a big, big pandemic happening right now called COVID-19, aka the coronavirus which is spreading rapidly around the globe. So, you know, I want to really hop right into this video. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Feel free to subscribe if that's your type of thing. I will be grateful. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video at the end. And drop down below in the comments all of your thoughts, concerns, or your beliefs about this COVID-19, 2019, 2020 coronavirus. So without further ado, Let's hop right into the video. 2019, when health officials in China admitted they had a problem. The health authorities have activated the most serious response level after an outbreak of a new type of viral pneumonia in central China. A rapidly growing number of people were developing a dry cough and fever before getting pneumonia. All right, so first signs is a, a dry cough and a fever before developing pneumonia so if you know anyone that has a dry cough followed by a fever more than likely they're probably going to end up with pneumonia if it is indeed COVID-19 the coronavirus those are the early symptoms let's continue and for some it turned fatal Doctors have named the disease COVID-19 or coronavirus disease 2019, indicating that a type of virus is causing the illness. When they try to trace its origin, they found a likely source, this food market in Wuhan. Out of the first 41 patients, 27 had been here. It wasn't conclusive evidence, but Chinese officials quickly shut down the market. Okay, so the place of origin is a food market or a meat market in Wuhan, China. They call these uh, markets wet markets. So this is where the coronavirus originated in a market in China called Wuhan, the Wuhan market. Let's continue. They had seen this happen before at a place just like this. The health officials are trying to get a grip on an alarming outbreak of SARS. The virus originated in mainland China. It spread across the country. The disease had been festering for months in southern China. In 2002, a coronavirus had emerged at a very similar market in southern China. It eventually reached 29 countries and killed nearly 800 people. Now... So, this has happened before with other diseases which also originated in china sars killed 774 people so before i continue i want y'all to comment down below how many people do you think died so far at this moment in this video let's continue 18 years later, this coronavirus is in at least 71 countries and has Ooh. already killed over 3,100 people. So what do these markets have to do with the coronavirus outbreak and why is it happening in China? A lot of the viruses that make us sick actually originate in animals. Some of the viruses that cause the flu come from birds and pigs. HIV AIDS comes from chimpanzees. The deadly Ebola virus likely originates in bats. And in the case of the 2019 coronavirus, there's some evidence it went from a bat to a pangolin before infecting a human. So, they say that the coronavirus was originated from a bat, just like the Ebola virus. So, bats are very disgusting animals. Wild bats are very disgusting animals. They carry a lot of diseases because they tend to feed on other animals. Bats are nocturnal. I'm quite sure all of you guys already knew that. You're not stupid. And uh, from what they say in COVID-19 originated from a bat, which then infected something called a pandalum, and which then infected the human race. Yo, this is deep, yo. This is deep. 
While viruses are very good at jumping between species, it's rare for a deadly one to make this journey all the way to humans. That's because it would need all these hosts to encounter each other at some point. Hosts. That's where the Wuhan market comes in. It's a wet market. A kind of place where live animals are slaughtered and sold for consumption. Ooh. It was not surprised at all, and I think that it was not surprised to many scientists. Peter Lee is a professor and expert on China's animal trade. The cages stack about one over another. Animals at the bottom are often soaked with all kinds of liquid animal excrement, pus, blood, or whatever the liquid they're receiving from uh, the animals uh, above. That's exactly how a virus can jump from one animal to another. If that animal then comes in contact with or is consumed by a human, the virus could potentially infect them. And if the virus then spreads to other humans, it causes an outbreak. Yo, that's disgusting. So, furthermore, at these wet markets in Wuhan, China, and probably other places in China also probably have wet markets, but the one known popular wet market is in Wuhan, China. So they stack animals on top of each other like Legos in cages. Now, whatever animal is at the top, whatever fluids, whether it's, uh, you know, shit, urine, pus, blood, or saliva from the animal, whatever you can think of that's dripping from the animals at the top cage, then drips. And the animal on the cage below, then it drips to the next animal, to the next cage, to the next cage, to the next cage, all the way until it hit the animals on the bottom. So let's think about that for a second, right? Let's say we got 10 cages stacked. The one at the top, all his secretions go nine cages down to the bottom, right? Then you got the ninth cage. The ninth cage, all of their secretions then go Eight cages all the way down to the bottom. Then cage number seven, all of their secretions go six cages all the way down to the bottom. So think about that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So cages 10 through cages 2, all of their secretions lead down to the very bottom cage, cage number one. Cage number one is the most nastiest filthiest disgustingest animal cage of all because it catches all the other nine cages secretions so you got nine cages of animals taking all kind of craps and urines and bleeding and puskin all over the bottom cage so cage number nine is already infected from cage number 10 but it multiplies all the way on the way down. Yo, that is crazy. So, if you think about it, like, it's very easy for animals to pass diseases from one animal to another if they're being caged like this in these places. Now, as you also seen in the video, when they chopping up these animals and they slaughtering these animals, right? The diseases are in the secretions. The secretions might splash on clothing. It might get on your skin or whatever. So if you somebody working here and this on your, your clothing or your skin, right? You chopping this stuff up. Even if you got on gloves, it's still gonna get all on you. You chopping it up, stuff gonna splash, splatter. You splattering secretions with, with diseases all in it. You then take the meat to the next person or whatever. They pit it in whatever cooler they pit it in. The public come up. Then they then take the meat out of the cooler, put it on there, chop it up for the people or whatever. As they chopping it, it probably splash again. Then they put it into a container. They take it, put it in a bag. And then they go and hand it off to the consumer. When they hand it off to the consumer, their filthy disease riddled hands, which touch the animal secretions that were slaughtered, that were in those cages, urinating, and bleeding and pussing all over each other. They hand off the bag to the consumer. And the consumer now has the diseases on their skin cells. In which then they might touch their face. 
They might shake somebody else's hand. They might reach in their pocket for their phone, reach, reach in their pocket for the keys, reach in their pocket for their money. And then think about it. This is how the disease spread from one person to the next person to the next person. I got COVID-19 on my hand. I reach in my, my pocket to hand you a five. You take that five. Now you got it on you. You go to a store, you buy it. You pass that five to the store clerk. Now they got it on their hand. They put it in the drawer. Another customer come in. They might get $5 worth of stuff, hand them a $10 bill. They hand back a, a whole nother customer that same $5 bill from the previous customer that brung the disease in on the money. And then that new customer now takes that $5 bill home, which is his change. And it sits in his wallet until he hands it off to another person and the cycle repeats. Ladies and gentlemen, this is COVID-19 coronavirus. This is a serious pandemic. I definitely urge you guys to be very careful. I am in the state of Pennsylvania. The, the, the virus has already made a hair. Um, I'm already, you know, on defense. I'm looking out for all the sign symptoms. I'm going into public restrooms. I'm not touching anything with my hands. I really don't even want to touch paper towels. I prefer to use the hand dryers where it blows your hands. If I got to turn on water, I don't even use my hand. I'll use my elbow and hit the spigot of hot water on. Then I'll take my elbow and hit the soap dispenser and pump the soap into my hands. And then I put my hands in soap under the hot, steamy water faucet and wash my hands for 20 seconds minimum. But me personally, I count to 30 and scrub mine real good and hard. I take my fingernails and I scrub on my palms like this so I can get the soap and sanitation all up under my nails and everything. Not just that, I will wash halfway up my arms and stuff just to make sure that everything is thorough and sanitized and clean. I do not touch bathroom doorknobs. If it's a push handle or something, I'll use my... my my forearm with a, a shirt or something and push it or whatever or i use my body push it open or whatever if it's something where i gotta pull the handle then i will take my shirt like this hold it and pull the handle and let myself out when i get home my clothes are coming off they're immediately going into the laundry now in which they will be washed in hot water and soap so you guys got to be on the lookout. You know, if somebody coughing or whatever, stay away from their asses. If you got a cough or whatever, cover it up like this. Cough into your cough into your uh, your, your elbow, or cough into your, your shoulder like this, so that your mouth fully covers the cough. Do not use your hands to cough in, like some people do. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't doing nothing but passing the germs onto your hands. And some of y'all disgusting, y'all coughing the air, y'all not, you know, being courteous to others. The disease spread, when you cough, it spreads up to about 20 feet. So if you cough right here, it's spreading 20 feet across the room in all directions that it came out of your mouth. And whatever it land on, including in the air, you know what I'm saying, will be infected. These diseases are crazy, man. Use all precautions. Be very clean. Um, from what I hear, hand sanitizer will not kill COVID-19 unless it is at least 60% alcohol by volume. So you're better off just going to get uh, the bottles of alcohol that's 60-70% by volume. Pour a little bit in your hands and rub it all over your hands like this and just let it dry, you know, naturally until you can get to a hot water source with soap and um, antibacterial soap, and you can wash your hands for 20 seconds or more. So I really don't want this video to go much longer, but if you guys want me to, you know, do another video on a coronavirus or whatever, breaking it down furthermore or whatever, and why, you know, the Chinese government allowed these wet markets, you know what I'm saying, to even exist, I will definitely drop a part two to this video if that's what y'all want. So, you know, if you can get this video to 30 likes, I'll drop a part two. 
or you guys can just drop it down below in the comments you know if you want to see another part two of this or you know you can just tell me what other type of videos y'all would like to see but um that my friends is the video and i'll see you guys in the next one until then be safe be cautious be on the lookout and uh i'll holla Thank you.